Hey everybody, it's Jimmy V here, and today I wanted to talk to all of my veterans, active duty service members about the VA home loan and the step-by-step -step process. What do you, as a veteran or active duty service member, need to do to go out there and put rounds down range with your VA home loan benefit? By the end of this video, I think you'll be AJ squared away and know exactly what to do, so that way when you're ready to buy a home, you know the process. Good to go, but before we do, got some business to take care of. Do me a favor, if you find that this information was of value, and I earned it, would you consider showing your love by clicking like on this video? And then consider subscribing to this channel if you wanna learn more about serving veterans and active duty military. And then lastly, comment down below with your questions and I personally will make sure that they get answered for you. Good to go? All right, so you wanna use your VA home loan benefit. What are the steps involved? The first step that's involved is, is you need to get a copy of your certificate of eligibility. So I'm gonna write that down here. C-O-E stands for certificate of eligibility. What does that even mean? It's a document that the VA provides you, the veteran, active duty service member that shows that you're eligible for the VA loan. Now to get this document, there's two particular ways. I'm gonna write this down. You can go to your e-benefits portal and then you can also get a copy from your, I'm gonna just write a line here, mortgage lender, okay? Your mortgage lender should be able to provide you with a copy of this upfront. Somebody like myself can assist you and typically it's done instantaneously, okay? So once you have this form, all right, now the next part or next uh, step, if you will, is going to be to contact the mortgage lender. So I'm gonna put my cap on here and I'm gonna share something with you that I think is very important. Here's the deal. In the Marine Corps, we're all known as basic riflemen. In the Marine Corps, we also have different MOSs, right? We've got avionics and we've got grunts, right? I was an infantryman, 0311, hoorah. All right, best job in the Corps. So here's the deal. You wouldn't want Jimmy Versalino, right, working on electrical equipment on aircraft. Shake your head like this and say, no, I wouldn't. I wouldn't want to get on that aircraft, right? And the reason why is is because I haven't been properly trained on that particular system, right? Just like the avionics Marine hasn't shot a Mark 19 or a 240 Golf. They haven't been trained. And just like the Marine Corps, the mortgage industry is the same. You don't want to work with a mortgage lender who doesn't understand and isn't proficient in VA loans. Why do I say that? I say that because there's a lot of subtle nuances that exist with a VA loan. And if you're working with a mortgage originator who specializes in VA loans, they'll be able to help you navigate that process. So step number two, contact, all right? Your mortgage loan originator. Ask them questions. Make sure that they're educating you and that you've got a warm, fuzzy feeling about the originator that you're hiring to lock on your VA home loan benefit for you. So now you've talked to the mortgage loan originator. The next step is going to be to submit a loan app. There we go. What do you guys think of my writing. It's pretty bad, right? I guess it's a sign of brilliance, but it's okay. All right, so contact your mortgage loan originator and submit that loan application. What the mortgage loan originator is going to do is they're going to look at your credit. They're going to look at your income and they're going to make sure that you are pre-qualified for the VA loan. Now, in order to do that, you have to send them a documentation request. There we go. Request list. All right. This documentation request list is going to be things like W-2s. It's going to be things like tax returns, bank statements, pay stubs, photo ID, and a copy of your DD-214. Good to go? So once you've done all of these steps, you should now be pre-qualified to go out there and purchase a home and utilize your VA home loan benefit. From there, you will begin shopping for your new home with your real estate professional. You'll look at homes, you'll identify a home. Make sure that you've talked to the mortgage lender about things like interest rates, you know what your monthly payment is, you know what the costs in conjunction with the purchase will be and you've properly budgeted for this upcoming home acquisition. Once you do that, once you submit that offer and it gets approved by the seller, typically you've got about 30 to 45 days before you as the veteran will close on that transaction. And once you do, it's go time after that. You begin to accumulate and build wealth through the acquisition of real estate, utilizing your VA home loan benefit. So these are just some basic steps with respect to going out there, utilizing your VA home loan benefit. I hope you found that this information was of value. If you did, do me a favor, show your love by clicking like on this video, dropping a comment with your question down below, and lastly, subscribing to this channel. My name is Jimmy Versalino. Thanks for sharing your time with me, and I'm sure we'll be in touch with you real soon.